Welcome to 2024, my friends. In the past videos, we've given you a little bit of insight onto predictions, what we were thinking is going to happen in 2024. Today, we're going to jump into the data and show you what's happening in the market and some key indicators to keep an eye on going into the following months. So let's get into it right now. So jumping into the new listings in San Diego County, this is for all of San Diego, obviously. This has been a big point that over the past few years has been very low. We have seen a very limited new listings compared to, let's say, 2019 when it was a normal time, a more normalized market. So we have seen these numbers super low, but two things that will affect sellers going into the new year. First, how many buyers are out there? But second off, how many new homes come on the market? How many new sellers are out there? If you're selling your house into the new year and you live in a neighborhood and there's currently no homes on the market, your home goes on the market, you're in a good position because there's no competition. Anybody looking in that zone is going to be looking at your house and potentially multiple people looking at your house. But if there is two, three, four other homes that do pop up in your neighborhood, then you do have competition. So right now we did at the end of last year, we did just cross over how many homes. This is from Redfin data, which you guys can go to too. It just hit a Redfin data center and you can check it out online if you guys want to research all this yourself. At the end of last year, we did finally cross over right here, new listings compared to last year. Right now we're up a little bit above 11% from that, basically the last four weeks, um, November 27th through Christmas Eve. We are gonna see a little bit of a bounce this next bump. You could see the 2022 line ended the year at 273 new listings, but when we did start the year, it was up to 357. So it's just measuring the next week because it's taking into account the few days of the new year. So we are going to see a bounce right here. So it's probably going to be right around this line. But is this going to go above where these are? We're going to see a big bump going into January, February, going into these other months. Are we going to see more new listings continue from 2022 and from 2021? So are we going to be up in this zone here, which would be, once again, for sellers, that's just going to be more competition out there. Now, the, for there to be really any real effect on sellers, if there's like multiple homes coming on in the same neighborhood, yes, that's one thing. But as a whole, the number of new listings is not going to skyrocket. Well, I don't know. We've talked about it on this channel that we think there is some built up seller demand. We're working with clients right now out and about who are getting ready to list their home coming into the new year. And it seems like it's a little bit more than it has been in past years. So we will see what happens here. But that is one thing that can affect sellers coming into the new year. And before we get into the next part, if you guys are thinking about making the move, buying or selling in the new year, you got some questions. You want to know how all these things affect your specific situation. Feel free to reach out. I'm Chris Erickson with the Beach Life Group, real estate agent right here in San Diego. All of our information is right down below. You can book your discovery call with Cassidy and I, and we will walk you through everything. It's never too early to reach out, and we got your back when making the move here in San Diego. Now, what about demand side? As you guys know, if you've watched this channel, if you paid attention to the real estate market over these past few years, how many buyers are out there has had a huge effect on the market because there's been a lot of buyers. There's been a lot of movement of relocating people here, of uh, just people want to buy a house. And that's a really drove up prices over this past few years. The amount of competition out there has been intense. So you can see over these past few years, now we're looking at off market in two weeks. It gives us a good indication of where is the market. Are homes going off the market pretty quickly? Are they staying on a little longer? So as we're looking at the off market in two weeks, comparing it to 2021 and 2022, we're just sitting right in the middle here. So we're a little bit above 2022, meaning there's a bigger percentage of homes than last year that went off the market in two weeks. Part of that is because during this time frame last week, when you did see a bump a little bit and then flatten out and go down a little bit, this is when interest rates did go up to that 7%. You can see the significant drop off as interest rates were fluctuating last year. Now they did the same thing this year, but it still didn't have as much of an effect as it did the previous year, even though interest rates were higher this year than they were 
last year. There's just shy of 42% of homes do have gone off the market in two weeks. So the buyer demand is still pretty strong, even coming to the end of the year. You can see in kind of the typical buying season, it will jump up a little bit. My typically buying season, I mean, going into the springtime, kind of the beginning of the year, you can see that big bump up towards the end of the year because it's taking in kind of December in this time frame here. It's taken in the four weeks from December, but you can see once we get only the January data, you can see it did does a jump up quite a bit, meaning more buyers are in the market, meaning homes usually sell a little bit quicker during this time. So once you get into January, February, March, that's when we start seeing that. Now for the 2023, we kind of just peaked out right here about 63% of homes sold in two weeks. Previous years in 2021, 2022, we were up near 75% of homes sold in those two week time frame. That's when you're hearing the stories of there were bidding wars all the time. Things were hitting the market. I would say a lot of homes during this time frame were going off the market within like one week or you know the first weekend. So it was going off pretty darn quickly. Buyer demand was super high. So the higher this number is, the more buyer demand. You can see, like I said, we're sitting kind of right in the middle. So we're going to start the year somewhere over in this area here. We're going to see that little dip on this chart just because it's taken into December data, which is typically a little bit slower. So if it rises quickly and passes a few of the other years, I mean, that means buyer demand is crazy. If we see a flattening down around the 50% range, you know, that's kind of like buyer demand. Yes, it's out there. Homes are selling, but it's not that frenzied that we are going to see. So this chart gives us a good indication of buyer demand out there. And this goes with the buyer demand as well, average sales to list price. So if a home is listed for a million dollars, is it selling for a million dollars? Is it selling for a million fifty? Is it selling for nine fifty? Where is it on the range? You know, over the 2022 frenziness, we did peak out at almost 106%, meaning homes were selling for well above their list price. So the way they do that is competition, more buyers out there drives up the price as you get into these bidding wars. Now, 2021, we're still above 103%, kind of peaking out right around uh, almost 104%. Now this year, we have started the year at 98%, kind of trended up a little bit above almost to 102%, but now we're still sitting at just around 100%. So once again, homes are still selling for right around asking price, meaning there's still enough buyers out there to take on the current number of homes out there. So homes aren't selling for, you know, 95% of list price, 90% of list price. If we go in that direction, if that dropped way down below this line, that means we're definitely in a buyer's market. But anywhere around that 100% mark, that's a pretty balanced market where we're not seeing anything crazy over like we did during this time. And we're not seeing cr anything crazy under like we did see a decade ago. And the last piece of the puzzle we're keeping an eye on for buyer demand is the percent of active listings with price drops. So in 2022, interest rates spiked. We did see price drops, meaning the number of homes that did have price reductions go up quite a bit. So it went all the way up to 9.1%. During this whole year, we were kind of trending in that 4% range, got up to about 6% and then kind of coming back down to about 4%. You will typically see that towards the end of the year, maybe a few more price drops. People during that time, sellers during that time are usually pretty motivated. So they do want to sell their home, even though it is during the holiday season. But where this line trends will give us a good indicator of if we're seeing more price drops, that means there's less buyers out there or potentially a lot more sellers out there because more competition has come onto the market. Now, potentially as a little bit of a forward looking indicator, what home prices might do in the near future. This is a good metric, new listing medium price in San Diego County, which is sitting currently at 860,000. But if homes are selling, like we just showed about 99 to 100% of list price, the new median list price coming on is $860,000. We can assume that homes are going to sell right within that range of what they were currently listed at. So looking into the end of January and of February, this is where the potential new median list price will be. And you can see we are 8.61% above what it was last year. Now we will usually see this rise. It did typically you will see it kind of, I mean, we did follow somewhat of the same pattern where you go up into the selling season, you have this peak, and then you kind of fall back down going into the latter part of the year. Some of these other lines over the past few years, like I said, they've kind of fluctuated. They haven't gone on trend a little bit, but if we did follow the trend, if we're starting at that 860 range, kind of coming into the new year, 
it would usually typically trend up a little bit going into the selling season and then coming back down a little bit going into the end of the year. So if this number, if the new listing medium price, if we see it start dropping and trending down below this year, kind of how we touched it a little bit in 2022, or if it falls below that line, that potentially means home prices will be falling in the coming months. And so as you know, most of these numbers are backward looking where we are looking what happened in the past, but there's a few ways you could take them and potentially see what's gonna happen in the future or what trends are happening. Because like I said, if there's a lot of homes on the market, that's gonna affect prices because there's competition among the actual houses. If there's less houses and more buyers, that's gonna affect the pricing because there's competition for that single home. That's what we've seen over the past few years but we're going to keep you in tune. We're going to let you know what's exactly happening here in the San Diego market. So be sure to subscribe. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. You can book your discovery call right down below. We got your back when make the move here in San Diego. Uh -huh.